This is whenever we first get to circle Mercury out there at the front of our planetary group lies Mercury, a little uninhabited planet enveloped by a snare of interest and secret. At a simple look, nothing appears to be vital for this planet. Anyway, ongoing examinations by NASA have uncovered some surprising disclosures about Mercury that nobody anticipated. A portion of the stunning disclosures, including information from the James Webb Telescope, have ignited discussion inside the logical local area, with many alluding to the probability of extraterrestrial species concealing on the world. In the midst of the turbulent disclosures and unusual conjectures, another arrangement is jumping up inside established researchers. It is the groundbreaking strategy to strip Mercury of its stunning covers and uncover its dim mysteries for the last time. What amazing insider facts have researchers found about Mercury, and what progressive plans does the logical local area have for this puzzling cosmic neighbor? Go along with us in this video as the Webb Telescope at long last tracks down what NASA was concealing on Mercury. Up and down our nearby planet group is something beyond an ordinary collection of planets swinging in an infinite mirror. Around every one of the eight planets that make up this puzzling ring framework lies fascinating highlights of its own. In spite of the fact that planets like Jupiter and Mars might have taken the spotlight with their amazing importance, another fascinating planetary body that appears to be lost in the group is Mercury. It is the planet that lies at the very first spot on the list of planets arranged by closeness to the Sun. Its separation from the Sun is a mere 58 million kilometers, compared to Earth's 150 million kilometers. Mercury is likewise very small, measuring just 3,000 meters in diameter. Because of its minuscule radius around the Sun, Mercury is the fastest planet to complete its revolution at an incredible speed of 47 kilometers per second. The planet completes a full rotation in just 59 days. Altogether, one year on Mercury is only 88 days, or four Earth months. Mercury's small size and immense speed are only a couple of its interesting highlights. From a distance on the cosmic map, it even looks like a livable planet. The little planet has forever been captivating to established researchers. However, for reasons unknown, it hasn't earned consideration like the vast majority of its inestimable neighbors. The main recorded observation of Mercury was in 265 BC. Early stargazers like Zupus back in 392 concentrated on the world. Anyway, all the academic local area had in these early times were pieces and bits of information as their exploration was all led utilizing unsatisfactory logical gear and ancient telescopes. It was only after the 1960s that truly unmistakable information about Mercury became visible thanks to the endeavors of the Public Aeronautical and Space Organization, now NASA. A couple of years back, NASA uncovered the main genuine pictures of Mercury to the public. These awesome photos showed Mercury as a divine exemplification of excellence and intricacy. However, it didn't come efficiently. In fact, notwithstanding long periods of arranging and developed work to investigate Mercury, researchers were as it were ready to look at it actually. Researchers struggle with keeping an eye on Mercury as they do on different planets because of its nearness to the Sun. The Sun's unforgiving beams and brilliant light can harm optical instruments like telescopes when they look at Mercury for excessively lengthy. As such, researchers can look at the minuscule planet for a couple of minutes all at once to forestall harm to gear. Even the James Webb Telescope can't feature the planet due to its closeness to the Sun. It's very confounding how this generally little nearby planet is more earnestly to study than the farther planets, all due to the temperature and gravitational draw from the Sun. Sending a test to Mercury is more like a suicide mission than a heavenly mission. The test should adjust to the temperature environment and gravitational force experienced there. If not, it will die. It would shock you to realize that Mercury bursts around the Sun at an incredible speed of 30 meters per second. This time-breaking speed makes it the quickest circling planet in our Sun-oriented framework. And to make sure you know this too, represents a trouble for shuttles that mean to review the planet or land on its surface. Up until this point, just two space missions have had Mercury as its objective, the Mariner 10, sent off on November 3, 1973, and the Messenger, sent off on August 3, 204. Both of these missions were the brainchild of NASA and they are the essential wellspring of practically all the data we have about Mercury today. The Mariner 10 rocket led three flybys, each exposing the pockmarked, 
cavity-ridden surface of Mercury and focusing light on its attractive field. In case you're pondering, this space apparatus was outfitted with two telescopes, spectrometers, a magnetometer, spectrometer, and plasma analyzer. NASA expected to gather as much information as conceivable from Mariner 10's visit to Mercury. As it would turn out, the test gradually tracked down its direction to the little fast planet. As Mariner 10 moved toward Mercury, researchers were flabbergasted to see the turbulent surface of Mercury. It was ridden with heaps of cavities and edges, a lot like our moon. The pictures from Mariner were staggering as Mercury ended up to be nothing similar to what specialists had ever expected. Beside the rough, great planetary surface, the space apparatus moreover identified a powerless attractive field and an abnormally huge center. All in all, the Mariner took north of 2,700 pictures of Mercury, giving researchers an uncommon and unmatched view of the interesting scene. The second flyby of the Mariner was on September 21, 1974, during which it caught the southern polar area of the electrifying planet. The last flyby of the Mariner 10 was in March 1975, after which it quit communicating signals to Earth. Later examinations uncovered that the rocket had depleted its supply of gas and was unable to make additional rounds. The grand work of the Mariner 10 was continued 30 years some other time when NASA's messenger took off to the not far off planet, the similar to its predecessor. Messenger didn't just conduct a flyby but additionally figured out how to circle the planet. On account of this, researchers had the option to assemble more top to bottom and intriguing information about the planet. Equipped with the intriguing pictures of Mercury, NASA looked for more profound information with this mission. This time, it wasn't just about pictures, the office needed to find out about the air conditions and compound arrangement of the planet. NASA additionally had to concentrate on the world's attractive field as well as dive profound into its geologic history and planetary center. As you'd expect, the core test was stacked with every one of the fundamental devices it would need for this noteworthy mission. Curiously, the test made three circles around Mercury, during which time it took around 200,000 photographs of the planet. These photos were extraordinary since, dissimilar to the Mariner mission, they highlighted the two sides of the planet. During the core mission, the test made due to enter all the way into the planet's circle, floating at around 250 kilometers over the planet's surface. This closeness enabled the test to take pictures of both the light and dull sides of Mercury. Later, digging profound into the pictures and contrasting them with information from the rocket's instruments, NASA found out that our dear sister planet had abnormally high groupings of calcium and magnesium on its night side. Besides, the attractive field of the planet appears to be unusually twisted, seeming to be more grounded and more extreme in the northern regions. This peculiar pattern of the attractive field baffled researchers for quite a long time until profound research examination was led to uncover the mystery behind this inconsistency. You see, Mercury's odd and uncommon attractive field is all because of how the planet shaped at its center. Attractive fields on planets are created from the responses that happen in their center. Assume Earth as an illustration, the deepest pieces of the world's center contain fluid iron. However, toward the inner layer, this iron changes to strong. The continuous or moderate hardening of liquid iron in the causes an attractive field. In the end, strong electric flows are produced that produce a huge attractive field loosening up into space. This is the definite method of activity for the Earth and how its attractive field lines are created. For Mercury, however, it's a different ball game. As a matter of fact, Mercury's method of activity is so strange that it left researchers totally mind-boggled. In a new exploration drove by WA from the College of California, Los Angeles, it was found that iron abandons fluid to strong at the center's external limit. This is totally different from that of Earth, where the transformation from liquid to strong happens at the center's inward limit. WA had this to say, we had sorted out how the Earth functions, and Mercury is another Earth-bound rocky planet with a center, so we thought it would work the same way, but it's not working the same way. It's like a blizzard in which the snow structures at the top of the cloud, the center of the cloud, and the lower part of the cloud excessively. Our investigation of Mercury's attractive field shows iron is snowing all through this liquid that is controlling Mercury's attractive field. Further examination showed that Hua's examination was reliable with information from NASA's messenger mission. 
The staggering revelation drove researchers to accept that planets have more than one approach to producing attractive fields. Although the centers of Mercury and Earth contain comparable constituents like sulfur and iron, specific differences in these two planets can create significantly different outcomes. These differences in the core composition and behavior of Mercury's magnetic field have profound implications for understanding planetary formation and evolution in our solar system. It challenges conventional models and pushes researchers to refine their understanding of how planets develop unique characteristics based on their individual histories and environments. Moreover, the exploration of Mercury's surface composition has also yielded surprising results. Unlike its more distant and larger neighbors, Mercury's surface lacks significant amounts of iron oxide, which gives it a darker appearance compared to the rusty red surfaces of Mars or even the Moon. This scarcity of iron oxide suggests that Mercury formed under conditions different from other terrestrial planets, possibly involving intense heat or chemical processes that altered its surface composition. Furthermore, recent studies using data from the MESSENGER mission have revealed evidence of volatile elements such as sulfur and potassium on Mercury's surface. These findings challenge previous assumptions about the planet's geological history and provide new insights into its formation and early evolution. The presence of these volatile elements indicates that Mercury's surface has undergone complex chemical interactions and changes over billions of years. In addition to its geological and magnetic mysteries, Mercury also presents intriguing challenges for future exploration and understanding. Its proximity to the Sun poses significant technical and engineering challenges for spacecraft, including extreme temperatures and gravitational forces that must be overcome to study the planet up close. Despite these challenges, scientists are eager to continue unraveling the mysteries of Mercury. Future missions, such as proposed landers or orbiters, could provide even more detailed data and insights into this enigmatic planet. These efforts are crucial not only for advancing our understanding of Mercury itself but also for shedding light on fundamental questions about the formation and evolution of terrestrial planets in our solar system and beyond. In conclusion, Mercury remains a compelling subject of study for planetary scientists and space agencies alike. Its unique characteristics, from its fast orbit and mysterious magnetic field to its complex surface chemistry, continue to intrigue and challenge our understanding of planetary processes. As technology advances and new missions are planned, we can expect even more discoveries that will shape our understanding of Mercury and its place in the cosmos. Mercury, the smallest and innermost planet of our solar system, has long captivated the attention of scientists and astronomers alike. Despite its proximity to the Sun and the challenges posed by its harsh environment, Mercury offers invaluable insights into planetary formation, evolution, and the dynamic processes shaping rocky worlds. One of the most striking features of Mercury is its orbit, positioned closest to the Sun. Mercury zips around its star at an astonishing speed of about 47 kilometers per second. This rapid orbit allows Mercury to complete a full revolution around the Sun in just 88 Earth days, making its year significantly shorter than its day. Due to its slow rotation on its axis, one day on Mercury lasts about 176 Earth days, leading to extreme temperature variations between its scorching day side and frigid night side. The surface of Mercury, as revealed by NASA's MESSENGER mission and earlier flybys like Mariner 10, presents a rugged and heavily cratered terrain reminiscent of the Moon. The planet's surface lacks the extensive volcanic plains found on other terrestrial planets like Earth and Mars, suggesting a history marked by intense bombardment and limited volcanic activity. MESSENGER's detailed observations provided unprecedented insights into Mercury's surface composition. Unlike its counterparts, Mercury shows a scarcity of iron oxide, which imparts a dark hue to its surface. This composition hints at unique formation processes that differed from those of other rocky planets, possibly involving high temperatures and chemical interactions during its early history. Moreover, MESSENGER's measurements detected significant amounts of volatile elements such as sulfur and potassium on Mercury's surface. The presence of these elements challenges previous models of the planet's geological evolution and suggests a more dynamic and complex history involving volatile rich materials. Mercury's internal structure is another area of intense scientific interest. Despite its small size, Mercury possesses a relatively large metallic core, constituting about 85% of its radius. 
This large core is believed to be responsible for Mercury's peculiar magnetic field, which is much weaker than Earth's but exhibits unexpected variations across the planet's surface. The origin and evolution of Mercury's magnetic field have puzzled scientists for decades. Unlike Earth, whose magnetic field is generated by convective currents in its liquid outer core, Mercury's magnetic field is thought to arise from a different mechanism. Recent studies suggest that Mercury's magnetic field is likely generated by interactions between its partially molten iron core and the planet's rocky mantle, leading to a complex and asymmetrical magnetic field that varies in intensity and direction. The study of Mercury's magnetic field provides critical insights into the planet's internal dynamics and its geological evolution over billions of years. By mapping these magnetic anomalies, scientists hope to unravel the processes that shaped Mercury's interior and understand how such mechanisms operate on rocky planets across the universe. Another intriguing aspect of Mercury is its tenuous atmosphere, known as an exosphere. Unlike Earth, which has a dense atmosphere capable of supporting life, Mercury's exosphere is extremely thin and composed primarily of atoms blasted off its surface by the solar wind and impacts from micrometeorites. This lack of a substantial atmosphere contributes to Mercury's extreme temperature variations, with daytime temperatures reaching over 400 degrees Celsius 752 degrees Fahrenheit, and nighttime temperatures plunging to as low as minus 180 degrees Celsius minus 292 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite these harsh conditions, recent studies have raised the tantalizing possibility of water ice existing on Mercury. Observations from the MESSENGER mission identified shadowed regions near the planet's poles where temperatures are low enough to sustain water ice, possibly deposited by comet impacts or other celestial processes. The discovery of water ice on Mercury opens up new avenues for understanding the planet's geological history and raises intriguing questions about the potential for past or present habitable environments. Mercury's proximity to the Sun presents significant challenges for spacecraft exploration. The intense solar radiation and gravitational forces near Mercury necessitate advanced technologies and careful mission planning to ensure the safety and success of space missions. Both the Mariner and Messenger missions demonstrated the resilience and ingenuity required to study this enigmatic planet up close. Mariner 10, launched in 1973, was the first spacecraft to visit Mercury and provided the first close-up images of its surface during three flybys in 1974 and 1975. Mariner 10 captured detailed photographs of about 45% of Mercury's surface, revealing its cratered terrain and offering valuable insights into its geological history. The mission also contributed to our understanding of Mercury's magnetic field and provided initial data on its surface composition. Following in Mariner 10's footsteps, NASA's MESSENGER mission launched in 2004 with the ambitious goal of conducting a comprehensive study of Mercury from orbit. Messenger, Mercury surface, space environment, geochemistry, and ranging, entered orbit around Mercury in 2011 and spent over four years gathering unprecedented data about the planet's surface, interior, and environment.